Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Medieval Reader. If my voice sounds a little bit off, it's because I have a cold. I am almost fully recovered from the cold. Um, I got it around New Year's. So, yeah, I'm almost recovered though. So, um, I might have a little bit of a raspy voice, but hopefully it's not too unpleasant to listen to. Uh, I just wanted to talk about my experience of starting to try to read a book in Latin. I indicated that this was one of my goals for 2018, and it's been an interesting journey so far. I've only really worked on this for a couple days, and I've noticed in the process of trying to read something that grammar skills that I thought that I'd already mastered, I hadn't really. Um, so it's like back to the drawing board in some cases, where I have to finally learn relative pronouns, temporal conjunctions, um, certain verb tenses that I thought I'd already mastered. Um, I, I think that in general, reading is a better indicator of how well you know a language than taking tests. I mean, I find that test taking in the languages is kind of a waste of time. Um, really, the only kind of tests should be reading comprehension, so there should be some passage that you have to read and maybe translate. That's usually how it is in Latin anyway. Or some kind of an oral test where you have to speak the language. Now in Latin, usually people don't speak Latin, um, but I just find that, you know, any kind of um, conjugation tests, conjugation quizzes are such a waste of time. Um, so I'm really happy actually that this is more of a personal project because um, I'm really finding that there are certain areas that I thought I knew really well that are actually weaknesses. And I started this new notebook and um, I've been, you know, I do actually color code certain things. Um, but then when it comes time to actually trying to read the text, which I have in this purple folder here. So here is the Prefacio Apologetica, and look at me as I'm trying to uh, make out what the text actually means. Um, then it's really messy and crazy and um, uh, circling nouns that I don't know, underlining, well mostly underlining words that I don't know, and writing over it. Um, I have this tiny pink notebook. I got this as a secret Santa gift. It kind of goes with my lips today. Um, and I keep the vocabulary that I'm learning in here. Um, and finally, I made a Goodreads group. It is a year-long read-along of Niels Klim's Underground journey to travels um, in Latin. It is for elementary Latin learners because I am definitely an elementary Latin learner. I indicate that on the group. Um, the assumption and really the expectation is that you are at least trying to read the book in Latin. Of course, we cheat from time to time, but we all kind of want to be on the same page. If you are more advanced, then maybe you can help all of us um, try to figure things out. I made already a grammar page or a grammar thread and a discussion content-based thread for the preface. And for January and February, we're reading the preface and chapter one. And I say we because a couple people actually were interested in joining along. If you're interested, you can join as well. But this is first and foremost a personal project and it will be taking a year because my Latin is really poor. Um, but I wanted to invite you, any of you who are interested in practicing Latin, I guess this is considered Neo-Latin since it was written in the 18th century. Um, so there will be stuff in there that probably doesn't exist in classical Latin, but we'll see. I mean, for me, this is completely a gamble. I was told that this would be a good place to start. I didn't really want to read Gallican Wars, so... We'll see how this goes, um, but if you're interested, I did make a Goodreads page and I will link it below. Um, I'm currently reading Bleak House by Charles Dickens. I am partially listening to it on audiobook through LibriVox and I'm partially reading the book. Um, and then I'm also reading To the Lighthouse, which I hope to finish this week. So yes, um, I've been having, you know, 
not maybe the best beginning of the new year, but in other ways I have been having a, having a good year. I mean, I really am very committed to doing this Latin project and um, I hope that I learn a lot of Latin in the next few months. Thank you everybody. Bye now.